Hey student success, this is your very last video. This is your video for your week eight assignment. So this is it, we are done. If you have not already viewed your week eight lecture video, I did combine um, chapter three and chapter nine together just to make one last kind of lecture video. And that is the basis for your assignments for this week. So as you can see, you have a chapter three assignment and you have a cultural intelligence survey assignment. And then of course your student success workshop assignment. So depending on when you're watching this, because I did open up week eight early, um, you may have already submitted one or two of these and you're kind of working on the rest. So just keep in mind that week eight is on uh, ending on a Friday. So I know we've been in the pattern of completing everything by Sunday evenings, but because this is an eight week session, we are done after this week. It is done on Friday. That gives me the, the weekend to wrap up grades, get grades entered, and then the next eight week session already starts the following Monday. So keep that in mind. One last final plug for your student services assignment. It is due by this coming Friday, end of week eight. This is where you will submit it. So it's due in week eight, but this is the Dropbox for it. So you have to come back to the lessons area, get in here and submit the Dropbox assignment right there. So please make sure you, you submit that if you've not already done so. Many of you already have. All right, so week eight, you can see the Student Success Workshop is in there, but these two assignments are the basis for week eight attendance. So you're submitting both of these for week eight attendance by Friday. If you only submit one, you get 50% attendance. So please keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go right into the assignment folder and here is your chapter three assignment. So for this assignment, you are going to get a group of people together. This could be people who live with you in your home. This could be a group of friends. This could be a couple of people you just email with. Um, it can be someone that you reach out inside our course, anyone. It could be done in person or via email, via Zoom. However you handle that is up to you. I would say at least three people if you can, um, you know, as part of this. And here are the three things you're doing because chapter three talked about, you know, creative thinking, critical thinking. And so you are going to do these three things first by yourself before you create your group, before you meet with your group, create a list of three alternate uses for peanut butter, three alternate uses for paper clips, and three alternate uses for pen caps. So you are creating a list of all three of those things. So like nine items on your list. Okay. What three things besides eating, what three things besides clipping paper and what three things besides capping pens can those items be used for? Okay, then you set your list aside. Now you gather a group of people together and you facilitate. You're the facilitator and you ask them the same question. Um, try not to use your ideas from number one, only the ideas that the group generates. So you ask them, you know, what are three things you can do with peanut butter? What are three things you can do with paper clips? And what are three things you can do with pen caps? Don't offer your own ideas. See how the group kind of generates those ideas. Now, after you have your own list and your group list, compare them. Did you generate more ideas or did the group? Like, were you very easily able to come up with three or more for each of those items? Or did the group get more ideas? Did the quality of the ideas improve? Did they seem to get like better from individual to the group or maybe not? Were the group ideas more innovative? Did they come up with more innovation, innovational ways to use these items? And then which one was more fun? Creating your own list or facilitating the group ideas. So what you are doing is clicking in here please do the right submission area because I gives you a little bit more space. And you can, again, just kind of write your answers right in here. If you would though, for context, go ahead and tell me what you created, what items, you know, alternate items you created, what the group created. That way, when you start comparing, I have a context for that. So tell me a little bit about what you came up with, what the group came up with so that I have context for when you start talking about the comparison piece. Okay, so that's your chapter three assignment. All right, your cultural intelligence survey, this is based off of chapter nine. So for this one, you will simply click. It's gonna be one of those where it opens up into its own window and it's going to talk to you. And you're going to walk through and answer the questions. This is another one where you're going to wanna to go into your grade book and make sure that it has recorded your grade. Okay, so those are your two assignments for week eight, your final assignments. Um, I also, if you did not take advantage, week three was reopened 
or will be reopened Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of week eight. So if you need to go back, because this was the week that there were a lot of assignments, if you need to make any of those points up, please take advantage of that. I know some of you did take advantage when I had week one and week two open. So look at those, see if there's any points you need to gain back. Submit your chapter three assignment, your cultural intelligence survey assessment, your student service excuse me, student success workshop assignment certificate if you have not already done so. And then all of that is due by Friday to wipe out, round up, complete, whatever you want to say for week eight and the entire session altogether. I just want to thank you all for a, a good eight weeks. I hope that you learned something, you added something to your kind of student toolbox. Um, you were able to be more comfortable with online learning. If you never need anything, throughout the rest of the semester. If you need questions or answered, you need a, a resource, anything like that, please feel free to reach out and have a great rest of your fall semester. Bye.